Hey everybody, welcome back to Royal Tarot Readings. This is my fun channel that I do for tarot readings on the royal family. All information presented in this video is for fun and entertainment purposes only. It's fun. It's tarot. I'm just a gal with cards. All right, so today, um, yes, you might recognize this deck if you follow uh, Mystical Fortunes. She is my teacher, and I just love Shanta. She's so wonderful. And um, I've actually had this deck for quite a few months. Um, when I first ordered it, I got an empty package, and I had to contact the seller and say, hey, I didn't get my tarot deck, and they were very wonderful in sending it out to me. Um, but it's a really, really cool deck. I've had it cleansing. I was going to wait to use it for Halloween. I've got so many fun decks for Halloween. Okay, hold on. I think I've shown some of my... Oh! Okay, a whole bunch just dropped out. I've shown some of my uh, regular viewers some of these decks, but if you're new to my channel, here's one I'm going to be using. The Macabre deck. Uh, the Macabre tarot deck. And what's fun about this is, and it's empty right now because I took the cards out, but when you open it, <laughs> it makes that really cool squeaky noise. I have so many fun decks for Halloween, so starting October 1st, I'm going to be using only Halloween decks. So, that'll be fun. Meantime, this deck has been just pestering me to use it. And when I decided today I wanted to do um, a tarot reading on Princess Anne, it just wouldn't leave me alone. So here it is. I'm going to do this reading today on Princess Anne. I haven't read on her for a while because the last time I did a reading, it was really upsetting. I never actually posted that video. So I'm going to uh, look at it again and see what, uh, if the energy has changed and um, see how she's doing. So for this one, I'm going to use the Wizard's Tarot by Barbara Moore. Really, really fun, beautiful deck. It's got all kinds of fun illustrations. And um, the book for it is, I mean, the... The box is quite large. The the guide is quite large. Really, really pretty fun things in here. So let's take a look and see. All right, I've had it cleansing for quite a while, so it should be nice and it should be all ready. Um, and I asked if it wanted to be read in reverse, and it does. So let's take a look at the Wizard's Tarot deck for the Princess Royal. All right, so for Prince, oh goodness, for Princess Anne, how is Anne feeling today? Right now, how is she feeling? The Three of Wands in reverse. So the Three of Wands upright is about you're sitting and waiting for things to happen, and in reverse, you've kind of given up. You're, you know, kind of realize things aren't going to happen the way you wanted them to. Oh, goodness. oh gosh, this deck is so ready. I just, too many cards to read here. All right, so this deck is really, really ready. All right, so how does Princess Anne feel today? And how does Anne feel about the, her future with the royal family? What does she see for her future? How does she feel about her future? And then, um, does Princess Anne want to retire? She's just the hardest working royal. I meant to take a look at her schedule. I'll probably do that in just a minute here um, and see how her schedule looks. But um, I don't think she's returned to full royal duties, at least the, the schedule that she had before um, her accident. So um, does Anne want to retire? And then will Anne retire? Because what she wants and what she's going to do may be two different things. So will Princess Anne retire? And I'm going to say by the end of the year. Is she going to retire by the end of the year? And then has uh, His Majesty King Charles, how does he feel about Princess Anne retiring? How does he feel about that? And then, um, how does Prince William feel about Princess Anne retiring? His aunt, how does he feel about that? And then how does Catherine, Princess of Wales, how does she feel about Princess Anne retiring? And then finally, what will Anne be doing in five months? What, what is she going to be doing? How is she going to be feeling? Which, oh, wow. What is she going to be doing? Okay, this deck is so ready. All right, again, too many to read. So, all right, so what's she going to be doing at the end of five months? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're just going to go with this one because this deck is so ready to talk. All right. I have eight questions. Let's do eight cards. All right, underlying energy is... Ooh, the King of Cups in reverse. Well, there's Prince William. For me, Prince William is the King of Cups. Ooh, the Tower in reverse. The Five of Wands in reverse. Yikes. 
Okay. So, all right. So the King of Cups, uh, upright, the King of Cups. Well, this, this is Prince William by itself. It's a very loving, emotional, um, steady, uh, man who is, provides a stability and comfort for everyone around him. And in reverse, um, very, um, lost, has lost control of his emotions is, uh, actually needing help himself to become uh, emotionally stable. But this is Prince William, and this Prince William in this shadow aspect is is angry. He's worried. The tower in reverse, of course, the tower upright, is about a catastrophe that happens, and it's an act of God. And in reverse, I got this on my last reading too, this is a catastrophe of her own making. So this problem that uh, that happened to her was of her own making. And then the Five of Wands in reverse, upright. The Five of Wands is about everyone's bickering and fighting. We've got all our wizards and witches here fighting. No one's listening. They're just squabbling with each other. And in reverse, it's a fight now that you've lost. You are resigned to the fact that you are not going to win this fight. So this is Prince William being upset, a catastrophe of um, the person's own making, and the loss of the fight. Oh, boy. All right. How is Anne feeling today? Princess Anne, the Princess Royal, how is she feeling today? The Three of Swords in reverse. Upright, the Three of Swords is about heartbreak and betrayal. Um, and in reverse, it's about you trying to recover from heartbreak and betrayal. And it can be, um, it can be forgiveness as well. Um, let's see what all these cards will tell us about this. So Prince William is very upset because of this catastrophe that has befallen his aunt and it was of her own making and he, um, they've lost a fight. She's trying to recover from a betrayal and I don't see forgiveness here. This is a re just being resigned to someone has betrayed you, has broken your heart and there's just, that's the way it is. I don't forgive that person. Um, I'm just moving on. And whatever her decision that she's made here, it's upset Prince William. He's he, Actually, he feels very sad for her. This is a sad aspect. This is not angry. This is sadness. Because he knows that the problem was of her own making. And um, the fight to correct the situation has been lost. Wow. Some kind of betrayal. All right. Um, how does... Uh, how does Princess Anne feel about her future with the royal family? Justice. Oh, wow. That's a powerful card. So this is about seeing that, th that the outcome is correct. The outcome, the legal, this is the legal system as well. The legal outcome of whatever her future is, is the right choice. And uh, Prince William is sad about it, but he knows there's nothing he can do. And uh, I'm beginning to think that he has lost the fight. He has lost the fight on whatever this, this legal outcome is going to be. It's not what he wanted, but that's the way it's going to be. So how does she see her future with the royal family? There's some kind of legal issue that she has put into motion and it's final and no one can change it. And William did not want to accept it, but he has accepted it now and it's made him sad. Oh my, I have to clarify that. So, all right, let's see if we can clarify that. So what is this? Uh, how does she feel about her future with the Royal family? What does that have to do with justice? Why, why does, what legal issue has she decided that affects her future with the royal family. What is this legal issue that she's decided? I almost had a card fall. What is this legal issue that she's decided? Universe, can you tell me? What is this? The Eight of Swords in reverse. And the Two of Pentacles. Alright, so the Eight of Swords upright is about a trap that you are in and you can't see your way out of. And um, she feels like she's now released herself from a trap the two of pentacles she's um decided to give up some financial oh wow she's gonna give up her charities 
she's getting herself out of some legal um, obligation that she had having to do with um, uh, maybe having to do with her charities that she's now untangled. She may be giving those charities away. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. All right. Does Anne want to retire? Does she want to retire? The Ten of Wands. It's a burden. It's a burden. Oh, my goodness. I think she does. She doesn't... She does, but she doesn't. It's just a burden for her. She can't do it anymore. And that's really, really made William sad because it's it, he, there's nothing he can do about it. It's, it's, it is what it is. And he's lost the fight to change her mind. Does she want to retire? I believe she does. She thinks that this whole, everything that she's been doing is too much of a burden for her. It, it's too much physically for her. Is Anne going to retire? Is she going to retire in the next uh, five months? The three of wands in reverse. Um, she's still looking at the situation and she's going to make, she's, she's made her decision. Three of wands upright is about you're waiting for information. And, and then this popped out and we was, I was shuffling. Um, you're waiting for information. You're waiting for your ships to come in so you can make your decision. Three of wands in reverse. The ships will never come in. To give her the information that she wants. So, is she going to retire in five months? It actually may be three months. And it's really sad for Prince William because there's nothing he can do to change this outcome. And um, he, he fought and fought and fought and lost the fight. So, allegedly, she will retire um, possibly in three months, maybe five months. Oh, my goodness. How does King Charles feel about Anne retiring? How does he feel about that? The lovers in reverse. Oh, wow. Oh. All right, so this usually represents uh, Harry and Meghan and their split up. It's right under the justice card. He Before she retires, he wants this issue of Harry and Meghan, the split up, he wants it legally taken care of. She's got some hand in it, and he wants, King Charles wants her to wrap that up. Get this taken care of before you retire. We need you to do that. And Prince William is, is um, again, he's sad that this whole thing's going to happen because he lost the fight on it. But King Charles wants her to wrap this up with Harry and Meghan. Legally, get it wrapped up before you retire. Wow. And how does Prince William feel about Anne retiring? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh my goodness. Ten of Pentacles upright is about generational wealth, line of succession, about DNA, about generations continuing on. And in reverse, he feels like it's the end of the line. It's a burden. It's such a burden that she will retire because he feels like that such she's such a valuable asset to the royal family. It's such a loss for the family. It's such a loss if she retires. So, um, And he did everything that he could to stop it, but there's nothing he can do. He put in the good fight. So he's like, in his mind, it's like the end of the, the, end of the line because that's, you know... His grandmother's children, you know, he's got his father, He's he has Anne. Um, Andrew is no longer working royal, and Prince Edward is a very strong uh, asset to the family, but he feels like Anne's just at a whole other level, and it's such a loss to the family. Wow. All right, how does Catherine, Princess of Wales, how does she feel about Anne retiring? Seven of Swords in reverse. She wants some um, some deception to be to be um, brought to light before she retires. Over the three of wands, 
Okay, this decision that Anne has made, she wants Anne to explain. You need to explain why you're retiring. You need to let people know. Go ahead and tell people. It's okay. I know you want to keep it private, but there's a lie, a deception that's been hidden. And Catherine's like, you need to tell people. Blah. You need to tell people what's going on, why you're retiring. You need to tell people what happened. And Prince William um, probably doesn't agree, and he thought about this, but in Catherine's mind, she's like, you need to come clean and tell people what happened, or people will never accept this. Well, and what will Anne be doing in five months? What's she going to be doing in five months? Five of Cups in reverse. So she's accepting the past. Um, upright, this Five of Cups is about bitter regret and disappointment. Um, uh, you can't let go of the past. You're crying over things that happened that you had not, you, you couldn't do anything about. And in reverse is you have now accepted things that have happened. You've accepted the past and you're, you're moving on. In five months, she'll be retired in five months. She will have pulled back from her royal duties in, within five months. It may be three months, but she will be, allegedly. I hope I'm wrong. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. This is not quite as bad of a reading that I had before. Of course, I didn't really get into the questions I did before. I may update that privately, but it does look like she's probably going to be retiring. My goodness. All right, let's do a wrap-up. How is Anne feeling today? Oh, shoot. Hang on one second. That's my dishwasher. Sorry about that. All right, so how does Anne feel today? She feels like um, she's trying to get over some betrayal. Um, yeah, uh, some betrayal that happened that occurred. I think it has. Oops. I think it has to do with this accident that she had. Um, and uh, it will be interesting if that comes out. And then, how does Anne feel about her future with the royal family? Um, she is working on some legal paperwork, some some legal things that she needs to do, and it's probably to. Uh, remove herself from these charities that she has. It could be some other things too. It may have to do with Harry and Meghan. But um, she is working on some legal paperwork. Um, and she needs to make sure that's wrapped up before she leaves. And does Anne want to retire? Uh, unfortunately, she does. It's, it's a burden. It's a burden. And she um, has finally accepted that. And then um, will she retire in five months? She will. It may actually be three months. But she's now, she's left, this was her decision. Three of Wands Upright is you, you are, you know, talking it over with other people and you're getting all your information in. And in reverse, she's got the information that she needs. All right, and then um, how does King Charles feel about Anne retiring? Um, he wants this issue with Harry and Meghan taken care of. They're split up. She, he wants all the legal aspects, the legal paperwork, the legal things that she's overseen. Uh, with this particular issue with them, with their divorce, which is a, this is a split up, lovers in reverse. He wants that taken care of before she retires. <clears throat> and then how does Prince William feel? He feels like it's just, it's such a loss for the family. It's such a loss. Um, the end of his grandmother's line. That's how he feels about it. The end of that um, Queen Elizabeth's just incredible work ethic which Anne has it's it's the end and it's such a loss it's such a loss and how does Catherine feel she feels like um you need to, you need to let people know the real reason why don't hide it anymore let people know what happened because you owe that to people um and then what's she going to be doing in five months she's gonna she's accepted the fact that she has to um she has to let go of the past and she just has to accept that things are what they are. So in five months, she'll be retired. It may be as early as three months. And overall, oh, and then with this justice card, I forgot I did the clarification. Um, she's going to be releasing herself from her charities. And this. Um, she feels like this obligation that she has, she's going to be releasing herself from that. And then Prince William, the overall uh, underlying energy is Prince William is so sad. He knows that there's nothing he can do and what he feels is a catastrophe. And he fought and fought and fought to change her mind, but lost the battle. So, all right, there you go. I hope you found that interesting. Um, well, 
If you did, please like and share. And if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate all my subscribers. And I really, really do. You guys make this so worthwhile. I love all your comments. I love watching you react to the videos. And I, I love all your suggestions. So thank you so much. And if you're not a subscriber, well, come on. You need to subscribe. We have a great community here. Everyone's really wonderful. Just keep everything respectful. Make, you know, tell me what you think of the video. Just, just keep it, just keep it, you know, keep it civil, respectful. And I appreciate even constructive criticism. I really appreciate it a lot, a lot. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you won't miss another reading. Thanks so much, everyone. I hope you have a great rest of the day. We'll see you again soon on Royal Terror Readings. Bye-bye, everybody.